Hi guys, look at you here, and guess what? It's potato o'clock. A series dedicated to all things potato. And uh, it's been pretty gloomy these past few weeks. Okay, what is up with that? But anyways, you know what? Food will always brighten up our mood. French fries. But not just any type of fry, okay? Today, we will be making smiley fries to make us extra happy. <laughs> and you know what else makes us extra happy? Miku! And she wants you guys to get this video to 150 likes so she can get rewarded with a mini smiley fry. She's a potato girl, if you couldn't tell. Now let's get smiley frying. So I'm just casually enjoying my stroll through the park and huh? What was that for? Hey, Mr. Potato Head. Miku, why'd you throw a potato at me? Cause you're a potato head. Now make me some smiley fries. That is the nicest thing anyone has ever called me. You got it, girlfriend. As per Miku's request, I have here a gigantic bag of yellow fleshed potatoes. It was on sale, $5.99. Let's peel and chop two fist-sized potatoes, weighing a total of 500 grams. These potatoes are looking a little chilly. So let's prep the jacuzzi with five cups of water and sprinkle, sprinkle in one tablespoon of salt. Pop the patats into the jacuzzi for 16 to 18 minutes. Do, 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 do. <gasps> The potatoes are done, so let's quickly transfer the patats into a bowl and it's time to finely mash it up with a fork. Or if you want to make it extra smooth, push the hot potatoes through a strainer. And oh, I need this mashed potatoes skincare routine because it's looking oh so smooth and lump free. Now let's scoop three quarters of a cup of cornstarch, which is around 95 grams. Plop it into the potatoes, and then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix until the dough is nice and solid, just like your noggin. It should have the similar consistency to Play-Doh, and you should be able to toss it around in your hands without it crumbling everywhere. And when you poke its belly, it shouldn't leave any delicious belly juice on your finger. Transfer the potato. Huh, get it? Potato dough, potato. Someone in my comments suggested that pun. To a surface lined with wax or parchment paper and pita pata the dough down firmly, okay? We gotta be assertive here in Linkachu's kitchen and start rolling it with this long cylindrical wooden thing. I forgot the name. I think it starts with an R. <gasps> Treadmill! Rolling until the dough is around the thickness of your left pinky or around one centimeter thick for all my precise stands. And now it's time to bring out the big guns, but bam! Round cookie cutters. The one I'm using is two inches or 50 millimeters in diameter. And let's pop it and lock it into the dough. And if you're lucky enough, the dough will stick to the cutter and you can just pop it right out. Or else you'll need to carefully peel the dough off of the wax paper. And you might dent it a little bit with your pita pata fingertips. I managed to get 24 in. Now, if you don't have a round cookie cutter, you can also use a knife and draw the circles out by hand. I'm sure they'll look gorgeous, just like you. Now to transform these boring old potato pucks into smiley fries, we're gonna need a straw, but not just any straw, okay? This is a reusable metal straw. We support sustainability here in Likachu's kitchen. This will be used to poke out both eyes, okay? For the smile, like mine, we're gonna use a spoon, okay? But not just any type of spoon. Look at you, what kind of spoon is this? It is a half a teaspoon measuring spoon. And exactly this specific type of spoon because according to my mathematics and scientific studies, okay, the face to smile to eye ratio is perfect. I don't make the rules. Actually, I did make this rule. So follow my rule. 
yeah. So go ahead and pop out two eyes with a straw, a third of the weight down from the head. Now let's take our half a teaspoon measuring spoon, using it to indent into the face around one centimeter from the chin into a cute little smile. But we want a charismatic open mouth smile. So let's take a chopstick and dip the pointy part into some water. Now with the chopstick, scrape outline and cut through the indented smile until you can clearly see the wax paper on the other side. Oh yeah, and as an ode to my smiley fry video from two years ago, I'm cutting out a giant smiley fry. So stick around until the end and you can see me take a gigantic bite out of it. Now that we have around 24 smiley fries, slide them into the freezer for a minimum of 30 minutes. In the meantime, heat up some vegetable oil to 350 Fahrenheit, 170 Celsius, or medium high heat. And BAM! With the power of TiVo, 30 minutes has passed in a few seconds. So let's plop in around 4 firm up smiley fries into the relaxing hot oil jacuzzi, letting it fry for around 3-4 to four minutes or until crispy golden brown. Making sure to fry them in batches and transferring them to a wire rack once cooked. But don't touch them too much in the oil, just wiggle them around a little in the jacuzzi to prevent them from sticking to each other. Actually, I think if they're stuck together, they look pretty cool, like Siamese twins but smiley fry edition. Now some of your smiley fries may pop a bit in the oil. Now the reason it may pop is because the hot oil in the fry has built up until the skin of the fry can no longer hold it in and then it pops. I actually like to imagine the popped ones as a teenage smiley fry that has a big zit. So it makes it more realistic and fun. Serve with a side of your favorite french fry dipping sauce. Mine is cold ketchup. And oh, look at you. We have a cute and plump, just like you, army of smiley fries. And there we have it, fries. Smiley style. And before these fries start staring into our souls, let's dig in. Alright, so this is the finished product, and I'm super excited. First bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Let's do a little dippy dip. When you first take a bite, you get hit with that oh so crispy exterior layer. Then you chew a little and you reach that nice and potatoey, slightly chewy from the cornstarch insides. All right, let's do one without the ketchup, okay? Inside is nice and airy. There's many different textures because some of them puffed up and some parts is just the potato. This is the normal size. This is the Miku size. I think it tastes a lot better in the mini size. And last but not least, the Gigantico Smiley Fry, Mr. Potato Head. Look, he has hair now. He's a red head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pretty tasty. Look at that, gorgeous, just like you. Mm. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval, psh, and I'll see you guys next time. Got some poutine and a miku. Eat. Oh, oh. I'll put it on the. That was fast. And if you're still here, comment miku is a potato head to confuse everyone.